uh, first, uh, what, what, what was going, like, how, did, how did, did the game kind of come to you tonight? I mean, it just seemed like you scored so much in the flow of the offense. It, it was not like you were trying to chase shots. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's how it's been most of the season. I think that's just kind of how we play. Um, and they were in zone, so it kind of led to a, a lot of two-on-one actions, uh, finding an open man and just kind of being in the right spot. Uh, you know, especially in that, the first couple minutes of the game, the way we were just moving the ball. Um, you know, and, you know, I've seen a couple go down early, so, you know, just shooting in rhythm. And they released an action figure of you. Have you seen it? And, uh, like, Fanatics, mm -hmm. what do you think? Are you going to give one a deuce? And what's yeah. it like to have a doll? Like, are you – I mean, how do you kind of keep kind of all that in perspective at 24? Uh, I didn't refer to it as a doll, but <laughs> – Action figure. Uh, it came in the mail the other day. And, uh, you know, I, I put it in a deuce room. Uh, his room is full of pictures of me, action figures. So, uh, you know, it, it's cool. But, you know, I guess when you ask me about it, it's kind of surreal that, uh, you know, I do have an action figure and Deuce thinks it's normal. Uh, but I actually, you know, gave it to him. Uh, and today, when we put it in his room. His reaction was what? He's spoiled. You know, he's he's used to seeing daddy on TV and, and fat heads and commercials um, and toys. So he just was like, oh, thank you, and uh, put it with the rest of them. Jason, uh, you know, you mentioned the zone. A couple of years ago in the bubble, and I guess even maybe at points last year, they were able to give you so much trouble with that zone. And now it looks like it's just easy, you guys going at it. it what have you kind of developed yourself and as a team to be able to attack that look? Uh, you know, I think just, you know, being in that position before, um, expecting that, you know, something that we talked about in film and walked through today. And I think that's what we've done a really good job of this season of talking through things and implementing them in the game, um, at nighttime. Um, you know, the coaching staff really prepared as well. Um, and just don't stand in one spot. Don't hold the ball too long. You know, those are kind of like the the fundamental points of our offense, right? Continue to move, pass it, get a pass up a good shot for a great shot, regardless if they're in man or zone. Uh, and you know, everybody knows that. And you know, regardless of whatever the lineup, whatever the time is, you know, that's just kind of you know what we try to go out there and do. You and Bam, I remember you gave you that big hug after you won the East Finals, and you know you've had so many battles earlier in your careers. How has he kind of made you a better player with how he's been able to challenge you through some of these battles? Yeah, uh, you know somebody that I'm you know extremely close with, and uh, you know I've known Bam since seventh grade, and we've competed against each other in you know AAU high school and now in the NBA. Um, so somebody I'm extremely happy for. Uh, you know, his development, his growth, um, you know, the, the steps that he's taken in his career. And, you know, we've played each other, what, twice in the playoffs now and, you know, in the same conference. So we, we see each other a lot. So, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, just going out there and, and bringing out the best of each other um, and somebody I've just known for 10, 12 years now. Uh, this is always, you know, fun competing against somebody like that. Uh, you, there's a few moments where they were making a run and you just stepped up and took a three or just wanted to take it onto yourself, but you did it like just a couple times, kind of briefly. How have this year have you kind of felt a better rhythm and a better sense of when it's time for you to kind of take over and when it's time for you to play through the system? Uh, it's all about just making the right play. Uh, you know, when you open, shoot it. Uh, and the right play can be different from, from time to time. You know, I think I've said that a lot. Uh, but, you know, when I was in layup lines today, the birthday boy Grant um, did his best LeBron impersonation and told me I was going to score 50 today. Uh, so I just kept that in the back of my mind as I kept shooting um, throughout the game. You only had 49, so is that a real birthday gift? I told him happy birthday after the game. Um, but... You know, I've scored 50 a couple of times, uh, so I, I'll do it again one day. 
Jason, um, what role does Joe have in, in that messaging? It's just sticking. He comes in here after the last game. You're, you know, you, you're up 40, and he's talking about he's not celebrating anything. And comes in here today and he said there were like 35 points that you guys probably could have controlled and taken away. What – it seems like he's like maniacal about the messaging. What, what, what's that like? What, yeah, uh, you know, Joe has this – every every time we come in the film, um, he shows this video of a picture of a sandcastle and the metaphor of, um, you know, you could build the best sandcastle on vacation and when the tide comes up, it's going to wash it away. And basically, you know, today was a good, you know, good game we won. Um, but when we go in the film tomorrow or Friday, that – we got to build another sandcastle. And it's a little cheesy, um, but it's something that we've bought into. And uh, just that, you know, it's, it's, it's a choice that we got to make every day um, when we come in of, you know, trying to be the best version of ourselves, And knowing that, um, you know, it's never going to be easy. We're always going to get the other team best shot um, of, because of what we're ultimately trying to accomplish. Uh, so I think, you know, Joe's done a great job of, um, you know, not letting us be satisfied or complacent, which we aren't, you know, coming off the finals loss. We know what the ultimate goal is. Um, but, you know, just trying to take the right steps along the way and getting back to that point. But, you know, you say it's cheesy um, and you bought in, but the, the, there's, you know, NBA team is full of egos and stars and guys who have, who have succeeded in a lot of ways along the way. Um, what is it about that particular message, that sandcastle message, that makes you buy in? I think, uh, for one, we got a great group, right? Uh, you know, even when I go back to last game, uh, like Blake. Blake has had a hell of a career, you know, seven-time, six-time All-Star, whatever, six-time All-NBA, and, you know, was a superstar at one point, um, and obviously due to injury, but... Somebody like that to come in and buy in and, you know, do things that you guys don't see every day. He takes the first bus, you know, he plays pick up on off days with, you know, the two way guys. And, you know, that's not necessarily always normal, especially for somebody that, you know, has accomplished what he has and made all the, you know, the money that he has for him to still have that mindset of team first and just being a great teammate. Um, you know, just little things like that, that we all notice. Um, and, and everybody shows that in, in one way or another. Um, so we just got a really great group of selfless guys um, on this team that just want to win um, and do whatever it takes to, to help the next guy. Last question to Abby. Did you say, does Grant have a good LeBron James impersonation? Today he did. Uh, everybody's seen that, you know, LeBron always, or the, uh, the meme of LeBron you know, predicting things in the future. Uh, so Grant did that today. He literally told me that in uh, layup lines. And then you were going off, Jalen battling through foul trouble, but still came up big in the end. Is there any doubt in your mind you guys are the best duo in the NBA? Mm. That's a good question. Uh, I guess, yeah, I mean, Whatever that means, uh, you know, I believe in him uh, and his his ability and uh, the things that he can do. And we've obviously shown that, you know, we can play together at a high level, uh, you know, and, and have great success. So um, I guess it looks like that way, but. Uh, I guess that's for you guys to decide, you know, we never like talk about that. We, you know, we want to be the best team uh, and we want to win a championship. And along the way, we're the best duo, uh, you know, we'll take it.